Hi friends, M D Vegan. <laughs> I make a nice breakfast with fruit. It's summertime. I have this most wonderful combination today. It came to me all of a sudden. I have this nice fruit from the health food shop. I go there once a week, big grocery tour. And then I have what I need for the week. That's easy, it saves me time. And it's more inexpensive as these shops. I have a membership. They give you for the retail price. Yeah, I have a little membership, not, not very much. You buy for $30 and you have the membership out. So I buy much more in a month. So black currants and apricots. Yeah, these I will combine in a white chocolate cream. So a black currants have a black deep flavor. It's the only fruit um, I would describe with this very strange expression. A deep black flavor. What does that mean? You have to try black <laughs> currants to know that. It tastes amazing. A deep and black flavor. Wow, endless. It's amazing. I love black currants and they're really only there once in a year. You can buy them in this form only when they're in season. No other fruit like that you can only buy in season. Most fruit you can buy out of season too, somewhere you can get it, more expensive. But this one you cannot get out of the season. I tried hard, it is even articles about on the internet, you can't get them. And I have your bananas, that's for my um, white, banana cream, white, cho white chocolate cream and cashews. This is the base for the white chocolate, a creamy cashew banana cream. A handful of cashews, three small bananas and some cacao butter that's also a magic ingredient cacao butter is also has also a deep flavor you see it's a little bit only it's a pot with water and a metal a tin bowl on top so it melts in the hot water not too hot you see and here the white chocolate um, the, the white cacao uh, the cacao butter is usually firm pretty firm you have to scrape it down with a chef's knife on the cutting board I have to wait a little bit. Yeah. I have to make a first blending here and then it comes later. Otherwise, if I do it in there now, put it in there now, it will maybe stick on the sides of the blender and be all on the blender, not in the cream. No, it's a minimum of amount what this blender can do. You put less in there and it doesn't work. You see now the sides are full of this um, cashew banana cream. And now when the cacao butter goes in, it will be really in the cacao, in the cream, not, not on the blender. Yeah. That's, that's an easy trick. Otherwise, the other way around wouldn't work. Yeah. Put blender down. That's done. I'm 100% sure I've <laughs> done that before. And now I combine these wonderful fruit. So both are in season right now. The apricots are most delicious, and the, the, the black currants in the same season somehow, and they have a, somehow a nice relationship. Look at the colors. And isn't that beautiful by itself? Isn't that really like 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 a like a gem, right? Like again, it's, it's really it looks so precious, and the flavor. I didn't taste them together, but I guess they will be outstanding together. Now I put that white chocolate cream over. I'll show you what it looks like, and then you can see uh, the cream a little bit from close up. You see, you see, this is the cream. It's a nice cream, and it's perfect for this for these ingredients. I have made it before uh, the white chocolate cream with apricots in a cake with a tart. Wow, very nice. Because then you have to do a little bit, 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 bit a little different. When you make a cake, you have need a firm filling that is uh, that keeps its shape when you cut it into pieces to serve the cake. But here in a pudding, yeah, or in a fruit salad, whatever you want to call it, that is easier. Yeah. It's a different way. Just blending bananas, cashews, and this cacao butter, and you're done. You can make your own chocolate by this. 
Now, if you make a little bit, if you let it cool down a little bit, um, you take some more cashews, some less bananas, a little bit more cacao butter, you have your own caca black, uh, white cacao, white, white chocolate, very inexpensive, super delicious, and of course you know what's in it. It's so easy to make. Yeah, fill, it in, fill it in little forms or so, in shapes, um, you, what do you like? Then you have your white cacao, white chocolate. So this here is amazing because the white, um, the cacao butter, has also this deep flavor. That's because it's fat, of course. Yeah, that's a different story. But the cacao in that fat, cacao butter, is a, a pure fat, but of course, from the cacao uh, nut, the cacao bean. And this kind of fat has also this very deep, yeah, you have to try it just a little bit. If you try this here, give a little bit inside, like this. Ooh, immediately. That's from the cacao butter. It's very unique. And this flavor, this expansive, this vast, expansive flavor, oh, yeah, it's like a heat wave, but very gentle. This is similar to the black, black um, currant. The black currant is not hot at all, but it has this depth from the black color. So all these things, all these senses are in there. And for the flavors, they talk to our inner senses. They are translate, everybody translate to their own language. So we have to be a little bit creative to translate this inner experience from flavor. We don't have the words for that. <laughs> but yeah, be inventive, uh, like in cooking, so in describing. So thanks for watching. I will hear this now. And it's nice to have a white chocolate cream because also when you have a breakfast with that, it keeps warm. Cacao butter um, or chocolate, uh, cacao too, makes a breakfast keep longer. So you don't need to eat that fast again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If so, like my channel MD, subscribe, and maybe we'll see each other also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. You get a new recipe every single day. How about that? See you soon.